this is um I guess a new series but you have to know how to use crontab uh, to follow my future videos uh, I mentioned a little bit about it last time but I'm gonna add some more to it right now so let's show you how to do a crontab basically crontab is a way to schedule your uh, tasks and I'll do it like a certain day or a certain time uh, your script okay so we we made a uh, we're gonna make a um, simple script here. So right click on anywhere, you know, create a empty file, rename it to whatever you want. So I rename it to tux.sh here, and I'll allow executing. Okay, go to properties, permission, allow executing here, and um, let me see here. Inside it, so you double click on it, and uh, it'll open like gedit. Uh, inside it, type in your script. I guess so this one is a simple script you know I said uh, we're using bash and we are telling it to use uh, GP rename the absolute uh, path and like I said before if you don't know the absolute path you type in um, where is GP rename and they'll tell you where is it at okay USR bin GP rename that's because uh, like I said before uh, what was that? Crontab is the stupid version of the terminal, and that's why you have to use the absolute path. But then, okay, you have you did all that. Uh, now we're gonna do a um, you know a scheduling with that with our Crontab here. Now this is uh, GNOME Schedules. If you want to get this one, you have to install the GNOME Schedules, and this is the GUI, okay, the one that you see here. So let's add a new uh, task. Uh, let's say reoccurring task. And all you, the point one is the command up here. So just drag in your script here, and uh, let's edit the line so it can be correct. Delete that and delete this stupid symbols here. But basically, it points it to your script. And if you want to do an error output, uh, or I mean an error log. You go greater sign, and then let's say you want to go to temp folder, and uh, give it a name. So we we'll call it tux uh, error dot log, and you have to do this two greater and one. That's just what you got to do. Uh, you have some behavior here, not really important. The, the behavior, the default one is good. Uh, here's some predetermined ones, like I said before you have every day every hour and advance you can do like customize maybe like you say every four hours do this shit do the script run it right and add that's all you gotta do and every four hours of the day it will run the script now if you want to do a test run of it right now just you know highlight it and do a uh, test run that's all you gotta do and it will run uh, GP rename like that it'll pop it up right or whatever your script does it'll pop it up uh, if you have any errors um, like I said the error will go to your temp folder and let's look for tux error there should be an error log here's some errors that we have but it still works anyways if there's any errors you can check it out see what it is and uh, look it up on your search engine so uh, we did all that now like I said this is a uh, normal user now how would you do this for a uh, admin user uh, let me give you an example you know how bleach bit they have um, the normal user and the administrator or they call it root user okay there's a difference this one you have to type in your password this one you don't so that's why you have uh, two different cron tab one is normal user and the other one is um, root user so to use uh, the root user cron tab is uh, let me see I'll show you here you go you type in this one I like using this one better because you use gedit okay so sudo environment editor uh, equals gedit cron tab e and type in your password and it looks similar to um, this one up here right it looks similar um, and all you gotta do is type it out you know the same shit type out the path I uh, don't type this one this, this one is wrong okay this whole shit is wrong 
the second one it looks right you have to type in your home path your user name and all that and uh, that's all you really gotta do now if you don't know how to what what the hell these these uh, dot means basically this means uh, minutes hours uh, day of month or something like that I forgot but if you don't know how to do any of these just use this shit up here and it'll tell you okay so you click on advance or whatever they'll show you the thing and just type it out exactly how you see it alright so that's my tip for you there if you don't remember how to use cron tab <laughs> that's what I do um, so save it now and um, you know whenever you run it uh, make sure it's not commented out I just commented out because I don't want to use it but that's how it will probably look like no not that one this one the bottom I mean and this one will run like every minute uh, my script and if I save it it will work but let me comment it out because I don't want it to run uh, but that's how you run the admin level and uh, how do you know you, you want to use the admin level basically if your script has like sudo in it like if you say sudo bleach bit uh, inside it something like that anything that has sudo then you use the admit cron tab uh, so that is pretty much what I want to say for this one alright and uh, the next one will probably be more useful than this shit <laughs> that's it